Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here today. Isn't this going to be a wonderful conference? My name is Pete Hazard, and I have the privilege of serving as the Managing Director of Fine Arts for the Frisco Independent School District. And I want to welcome you to tonight's opening performance. You know, I know many of you have been to many of these before. Some of you, this might be your first time. This is my first time at this event. And one of the things that I'm always struck by when groups of people come together like this is that our expectations coming into a performance like this, coming into a conference like this, can have a dramatic impact on the way that we perceive things. So I want to ask you to do me a favor real quick. Everybody take your hands and hold them apart like this. And whenever I clap my hands, I want you to clap with me. It's really simple. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. And that is the problem that we run into a lot of times, is that we allow our expectations to impact the way that we perceive things. As we come together for this conference, there are a lot of things that are going to be done. And on behalf of our public education students, on, the, on behalf of our public education teachers and administrators, I want to thank you for your service to the students of the state of Texas and for what public education is all about. And so tonight, as we think about this performance that we're about to share, I want you to try to do me a favor. I want you to try to shed the expectations of what you think it's going to be. Because those expectations impact the way that we perceive things. And if we can clear our mind as to what that's going to be, then maybe we can start to see things just a little bit differently. What would happen if we could all come together with a unified why as we head into this conference with focus on what the work is really going to be? When we think about trust and we think about the development of trust, one of the ways that we learn that in public education is through things like fine arts. And I'm a firm believer that fine arts education helps us to develop trust in three ways. Number one, competence. Students that are involved in fine arts, students that are involved in public education learn. They learn what their craft is. Number two, they learn to be consistent. Fine arts students are constantly repeating things over and over to where they develop consistency and number three, they learn and develop confidence. When we mix competence, consistency, and confidence together, we learn to trust one another. That's what we hope that you will see on stage this evening. Work from many teachers and many students that have come together to help dem demonstrate what trust is all about. Imagine the possibilities and the impact of our public education system with all of us coming together with a unified why, a unified purpose of making sure that we promulgate a public educational system that seeks to impact every child's life in the trajectory of it. We hope that you enjoy this evening's performance of a piece that we've entitled Pure Imagination, where we ask you to sit back and consider the possibilities of what we can achieve together as we come together to impact public education. But before we do that, would you please join me in standing and join in the national anthem that will be presented this evening by the brass players of the Lone Star High School Band under the direction of Mr. Mark Poole.
boys and girls, a world of possibilities. Close your eyes, make a wish, and count to three. Come with me. texture into my life, and that I add movement into theirs. So you like movement, huh? Yeah. When I grow up, I want to make people happy with movement. When I grow up.
opportunities that a public education offers to you to explore those on a much deeper level. What's fun is being able to connect what I love with how I learn. I'm able to see how much movement and music connect to other subjects. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, outside of keeping me physically active, music and movement teach me about how to communicate theme, imagery, subtext, and so much more through my own viewpoint. I'm able to work with my friends to do something that matters to us, something we connect with. I love that. Thank you for sharing that with me. What else do music and movement help you with during your time at school? Middle school gets tough sometimes. Dance helps me find joy. When I grow up. focus my time, my effort, and my energy on. Well, I know making good grades is really important. Learning is really important. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, but so is dancing. Don't you still love dancing? Yeah. Well, why don't we start there? Want to sign up for a dance class? Fill my heart 
a world of possibilities. Close your eyes, make a wish, and count to three. Ladies and gentlemen, we all need leaders to serve students like me in helping to provide excellent educational programs across the state. Please help me in welcoming to the stage someone who has done that and more, TASB president and former Frisco ISD board member, Ms. Debbie Gillespie.